Welcome to the channel everyone, 007 here. Today's episode we're going to set up a cheat codes plugin for MAME. We'll set up bezels for MAME. I'll show how bezels can be set up for rocket launcher with some basic settings. I'm picking up where I left off my hyperspin with rocket launcher and MAME install video. I'll leave a link to that in the description. I'll also change one or two more rocket launcher settings for MAME before moving forward and setting up any other systems. So let's just begin here and we'll start with the cheat code plugin for MAME. I googled MAME cheat codes. First site to pop up for me was cheat.retrogames.com. Pugsy's Cheats. I'll leave a link in the description. To download the latest version of the plugin, just click here. If you have an older version of MAME, just click MAME Cheat Files and find your version on the list. Once you've downloaded the file, you can download and extract the file into your plugins cheat file folder. And we'll take a look at the README. Under no circumstances should you unzip the cheat 7z contained in this archive. You can take a look at that real quick and then delete it if you'd like. Arcade 64 users, go to Options, Default Game Options, Miscellaneous 2, select the cheat plugin from the list, highlight it, and you can see the high score plugins activated in the same way. Enable the internal LUA plugins here. Click Miscellaneous, select Cheat File, and select the cheat file we just dropped into the plugins folder. Enable cheats. Click apply and OK. So now I can fire up a game. Press the tab key to open the main interface. Scroll down to cheat and activate cheat codes for hundreds to thousands of games. If you're using the other version of MAME, you can open and click Configure Options, go down to Miscellaneous Options, make sure cheats are turned on, go back to the main menu, down to Plugins, and just make sure the cheat plugins turned on here. When you start up a game, you can activate or deactivate cheat codes as we just showed for Arcade 64. So as you've seen already, I had a bezel up and running for Metal Slug 3. You can get the bezel packs at Hyperspin, Emu Movies, and a few other sites in the MAME community. Here's one of the packs I've dropped into my MAME arcade folder I'll show you guys. You put it into your artwork folder. Some of the zips or RARs here have multiple bezels in each file and MAME will handle that just fine. There's a few ways you can toggle or activate bezels from within MAME's UI. Again it should be similar if not the exact same for both versions of MAME. I'll go back into Arcade 64, into the Options, Default Game Options, down to Miscellaneous. Just make sure there's a check mark beside Bezels. Click Apply and OK. It can also be done from within the main UI with the game running. Press the Tab key when a game loads. 
go down to video options and at the bottom make sure bezels is enabled and you'll notice I have the view set to full and not crop. I mentioned earlier there's multiple bezels in some files and here you can use the toggle between them. If I have bezels set up in this fashion, for hyperspin and rocket launcher, there's a few rocket launcher settings to check. Open up rocket launcher, go to the main system tab, modules tab, highlight main, and click edit global module settings. Head over to the main tab. Artwork crop set to false and use bezels set to true. Click close. Now rocket launcher main settings will be the same values as the emulator settings and one should not override the other so to say. Now rocket launcher can handle bezels on its own as well from within its media folder and a few settings. If you don't have the bezels in your main folder, place them in your rocket launcher folder, media, bezels, main folder, unzipped in the correct ROM name folder. Rocket launcher can handle a few extra features as well that may suit your needs. If I have bezels set up in this fashion through Rocket Launcher, in the Rocket Launcher UI, highlight the main system tab, go to the settings tab, bezel tab, and just enable it to true. It can be left on use global. If your global settings for all systems, is set to true. Since Rocket Launcher is handling the bezels by default, they'll work with these settings. Rocket Launcher has a lot of other bezel features you can check out. Anything that doesn't work out for you, just set back to use global and check out the settings in the main module, edit global module settings, which also has a few extra features to tinker with. You can always set back to default. Rocket Launcher handles default bezel packs or generic bezels for games that don't have any yet as well. Before I finish up with MAME, there's one more setting I want to change. In the MAME System tab, Settings and Main Settings tab, down to 7Z Enabled, and set 7Z Enabled to False. MAME will only open ROMs or games zipped, so if I'm setting up another system later on and change the global 7Z enabled to true, MAME will not be affected by the change. Thanks for watching everyone, stay tuned, much more to come, until then, have fun gaming. Peace!